This video will show you how to search for magazine articles through the library. In addition to the books that you find in the library, Massasoit also has access to databases. A database is a place where you can search for articles from newspapers, magazines, and academic journals. These are resources that you will not find through a Google search. Before you search, think about the topic that you are researching. This will help you to brainstorm keywords. Those are important words that make up your topic and will help you search. We often type a question into Google and find results. But with databases, you want to take out any extra words that make up your question. Think of keywords like the hashtags that you use on social media. My research topic is, what are the effects of living in poverty? My keywords are poverty, effects, and United States. You can even be more specific with your location and look for Massachusetts. Keywords are flexible, and you can change them anytime. Once you've brainstormed your keywords, you're ready to access our databases. From your Canvas course, click on the link for library resources on the left-hand side of the page. The library resources link brings you to this page. Scroll down until you see a box that says EBSCO Discovery Service. Discovery searches all of our resources at one time and is a great place to start your research. You'll use it both in Comp 1 and throughout your career at Massasoit. Type in your keywords and then hit Go. There's no need to worry about capitalization when you're searching in the databases. Our search for poverty affects United States is showing us a lot of results. To narrow that down, we're going to use a database filter. If you shop online, you're probably already used to using filters. You might specify a size or a color that you want to look at. To use our database filters, we'll look at the Refine Results menu on the left side of the page. As you scroll down, we're going to look at the option to limit by source type. Let's click on Magazines. Magazines are written for the general public and not for scholars or experts in the field. They're a great place to start. When I click on that checkbox, my search results update automatically. Underneath each article title is a list of different subjects. These can often be a great place to go if you're looking for other keyword ideas. If you find an article that looks interesting, click on the title and you'll have access to the full text of the article. Over here on the right side of the page, you have some helpful tools. You can send articles to Google Drive. You can also send them to yourself in an email. And then if you click on the icon that looks like a yellow piece of paper, that's the Cite tool. All of the articles that you find in Discovery will have a citation associated with them. You can scroll down on the list to find MLA in alphabetical order. And here you have an MLA citation if your professor asks you to cite the sources that you use. If you have questions or would like help getting started, you can go to the library resources link in Canvas, where we found Discovery, and scroll down to the box that says Librarian. This will show you all of my contact information if you ever want to ask some questions. You can email me, make an appointment to meet with me through Zoom or in person, or use our Chat Now button if you need help right away. Good luck with your research and we'll look forward to working with you.